In part four of our lesson on fundamental identities, you will learn how to simplify expressions using the trig identities. First, a short algebra review. When you're adding rational expressions whose denominators are unlike, we know that we multiply each rational expression by one in the form of the missing piece of the denominator over itself. Now what will happen here in this case, the denominators are b and d, so this one gets multiplied by d over d, this one we multiply by b over b, so the numerator becomes ad plus bc over the product of those two denominators. So if you like, you can go in one step to that. You can go right from this rational addition directly to the result without having to show this if you like. Now where this could get used is in an example like this one, where we have to simplify the expression so that only sine theta and cosine theta remain. Here we have tangent theta plus cotangent of theta, and we want to use the identities to turn that into a new expression that only has sine thetas and cosine thetas in it. Now we start out by substituting for each of these. Tangent of theta becomes sine of theta divided by cosine theta plus cotangent theta becomes cosine theta divided by sine theta. And now this is exactly this situation where we have two rational expressions whose denominators are different. So here this denominator is cosine theta, this denominator is sine theta. So we can go right to this result where we know that the denominator will be the product of the two original denominators. So we're going to have cosine theta times sine theta. And the numerator will become the sum of these two products here. So you can think of it like a little x. We got to take a times d and b times c. So down here, we're going to have to take sine times sine, which is sine squared, plus cosine times cosine, which is cosine squared theta. Now we can use the Pythagorean identity that says sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is equal to 1. So the numerator becomes 1 and the denominator is cosine theta times sine theta. So now we've taken tangent of theta plus cotangent of theta and turned it into an expression that only has sines and cosines in it. In this example, we have to simplify cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x over cosine of negative x minus sine of negative x. So first, Let's work on that denominator. So I'm going to leave the numerator alone for right now. We know that cosine of negative x, one of our negative angle identities, tells us that that is just cosine of x minus sine of negative x is negative sine of x. So this denominator becomes cosine of x plus sine of x. 
Now this numerator here, we need to recognize that this is just some algebra factoring. If we have a squared minus b squared, we know that that factors to a plus b times a minus b. So applying that algebra rule to the numerator here, we're going to get cosine of x plus sine of x times cosine of x minus sine of x. And now we see we can cancel the cosine of x plus sine of x in the numerator with the cosine of x plus sine of x in the denominator and we are left with cosine of x minus sine of x. In this example, we're given that cosine theta is equal to x divided by x minus 3, and we have to find an expression for sine of theta. We have a Pythagorean identity that relates sine with cosine, so we know that sine squared of theta is going to equal 1 minus cosine squared of theta, and then by the square roots property, we know that means that sine of theta is going to equal plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine squared theta. And now we can substitute in this value for the cosine. So this becomes plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x over x minus 3 quantity squared. So we get this equals to plus or minus. We know that we're going to want a common denominator which is x minus 3 squared. So just to help you see it, we look at this second fraction as x squared over the quantity x minus 3 squared. So then I'm going to take 1 and write it in the form of quantity x minus 3 squared over itself. We know we need that common denominator to subtract these two. So this equals plus or minus. I'm going to leave my denominator as x minus 3 quantity squared since it's the common denominator. Now in the numerator I'm going to need to multiply this out and then combine like terms. So this first piece here, of course we'll be using the rule from algebra that says a minus b quantity squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. We're going to apply that to this term here and we get x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then we have to subtract x squared and we see we're going to get plus or minus the numerator is going to be the square root of negative 6x plus 9. And in the denominator, we're taking the square root of x minus 3 squared, so we know that would be plus or minus, which we already have, we don't need to write it again, x minus 3. So here's our result.